Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Shapiro. I'm a plastic surgeon certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. I've been practicing in the Scottsdale Paradise Valley area since 1992. All I perform is cosmetic or aesthetic plastic surgery. And uh, I'm here to talk to you about noses. Uh, a very common question that I have, is it possible to just fix the tip of the nose without undergoing extensive nasal surgery? And the answer to the question is yes. I see a lot of patients for rhinoplasty and um, a lot of people that don't like certain things about their nose. Most commonly, the nose is approached completely and that is that people present with some bumps on their nose, they present because they think that their nose is too wide, they don't like the fact that their nose seems bulbous, the tip may seem too projecting, <clears throat> and occasionally people come in with only complaints about the tip of the nose. Um, most commonly people come in and I like to approach the nose completely, which is to say, of course we want a very proportioned, uh, um, very smooth, uh, uh, very balanced result. And that usually entails doing some modification of the nasal bones uh, along with uh, uh, the tip and mid nasal cartilages. Um, that is a full rhinoplasty. Um, occasionally, as I said, probably about 25% of the time people come in and they don't like just the tip of their nose. In that rare occasion, uh, people may have a, a lack of a nasal bump, so they have a smooth dorsum and a smooth profile. They may have nasal bones that are already quite narrow and quite elegant, and just don't like the fact that their tip is over projecting or seems not to match the rest of their nose. In that occasion, a tip rhinoplasty can be performed. The nice thing about that is it's a very abbreviated or shorter recovery. Because I don't have to break the patient's nose, um, uh, basically the recovery is only uh, uh, the tip swelling, uh, and generally there could be a couple of st uh, stitches uh, along the base of the nose, but generally people's recovery is about a week, um, and the nice thing is that there's no lingering bruising uh, and generally much less swelling. So uh, uh, most of the swelling and bruising is usually when I break someone's nose to make the nasal bones more narrow. So the answer to this question is yes, occasionally patients can have just the nasal tip uh, modified uh, and, uh, and usually people get an idea uh, after having a consultation. Uh, we go through the same process even if it's just the tip modification or full rhinoplasty. I like to see patients, I like to take pictures, I like to image the nose, I like to have patients come back with pictures of noses that they like uh, and we sit down and look at my images that I've imaged. Uh, and modified and make sure we're on the same page because the most common uh, uh, problem with rhinoplasties uh, that people are not happy, if they're not happy, is lack of communication. So I, 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 uh, I put a lot of effort into that uh, and whether it's just a tip rhinoplasty or full rhinoplasty, I make sure we're on the same page. So the best way to get an idea whether or not you can have just a tip rhinoplasty or, or you need a full rhinoplasty is come in for a consultation. Thank you.